Hey guys, I'm actually in Chicago right now looking at new manufacturing equipment that we're going to use to make some of the cool weapons you find on KarateMart.com. But I figured I can't leave you guys without a Weapons Wednesday video, so I just grabbed some of our new items and I'm going to show them off to you real quick. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. So the first new item we're going to look at today are these steel fist gloves. They're also known as tactical sap gloves, but what's cool about them is they put the steel shot into the knuckles of the gloves. And what's great about that is it actually protects your knuckles from damage and it strengthens your punch. So what's awesome about these is they're like an unsuspecting weapon that you could use to defend yourself if you needed to. I mean, I love the idea that these could be just brought out in a winter storm and just look like normal gloves, but yet they provide you with a little bit of protection in case you need it. Now they're made out of this breathable spandex covered by genuine leather, so you know they're built to last. But I love these things. I'm actually really excited about them. But let's go ahead and look at another weapon. All right, so the next item we're gonna look at today is this new Spotlight Stun Gun. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I like to test out stun guns on myself. But I'm not gonna do that today because this is a whole new breed of stun gun. This is actually a military grade, heavy duty, hardcore stun gun. And I wouldn't wanna get shocked by this and I don't think anyone should get shocked by this because this thing is very, very strong. But let's just take a look at it really quick. First off, it's got this torch type spotlight to it. We'll turn it on. It's got a high beam, and it's got a different setting for low beam, and then it's got a strobe effect, and then it's also got the SOS signal, which is awesome. I love that. But we're not here for the spotlight. We're here to see how well this thing can shock someone. So let's just take a look at that real quick. Now you can really, really hear that when it crackles. I'll just do that one more time. This thing is a beast. And I definitely don't want to get shocked by it. Um, but this really is a new level of military grade stun gun for us. So uh, definitely check it out on the KarateMart.com website. But let's look at another weapon. The next new product I'm going to show you guys today is the Personal Alarm Keychain. And I love this thing because it's so small and it's actually such a defensive weapon. I'm a firm believer that if you're being attacked, the louder you can be, the better chance you have at surviving the attack. For instance, if you can grab the attention of someone around you that could come help you, that's great. And sometimes even a loud noise will scare the attacker away. But let's take a look at it really quick. First off, it's got this really convenient LED light in the front, which is pretty awesome. But if we wanted to sound the alarm, all you have to do is push this button. Now I'm just gonna warn you real quick, if you've got headphones on, take them off, because I don't wanna hurt your ears with this alarm. But here we go. That's really, really, really loud. And um, I guess that's why I wanted to carry it, because this is the loudest personal alarm keychain I've actually ever heard. So I love this thing. I think it's awesome. I think it's great uh, just to keep in your pocket to protect yourself with. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the last weapon I wanted to show you guys today. All right, so the last weapon we're going to look at today is this new Dark Assassin Tactical Katana. And I absolutely love how we're starting to see katanas with this new modern design to them. This one specifically has a rubberized handle, which just gives it the nicest grip when you're holding it. The scabbard itself is obviously made out of wood, and it's got this faux leather on it, which actually gives it a really nice sleek look. But the best part of it is the blade. So the blade has this black coating and it's a 1060 carbon steel blade. This is absolutely beautiful. I just love that sleek black style to it. And if we look at the rest of it, it's got this pommel on here that's kind of oversized, made out of steel, and it just looks awesome. I mean, it's almost like a brush steel. I really love it. And the Suba is made out of steel as well. It's very strong. 
this is actually a sword that I would want if I was going into battle. I love this thing. I just think it's so sleek. It's it's pretty long. I mean, I'm I think that's like 40, 41 inches um, overall in like a 30 inch blade. So it's a really pretty hefty katana. Um, but if you have any questions on any of the weapons I've shown off today, definitely leave them in the comments below. And uh, definitely check out KarateMar.com to see all of the awesome weapons that we carry. But until next week, we'll see you Weapons Wednesday.